The two MacBooks I have currently, I bought both of them used. Yes, you know, this MacBook Pro 2015, okay, and also the MacBook Pro M1 2020, which is behind me, collected that money over there. Yes, I got both of them used. So, on my video today, I'm going to be telling you things to check before getting a used MacBook. Yes, so all you need to do is so what you need to do is to get the full information okay so now on the very first on my list is to get your macbook from a physical store yes do not order reused macbook online instead go to a physical store to go and get this macbook because everything i'm going to tell you to check on this video you cannot do it online when you're ordering any of those macbooks online you have to be there and you know check everything out for yourself and another reason why it's not even nice to you know order you know, a used macbook online is we are not even sure if it is working because you know according to the description they just tell you this macbook is working you don't know if it has any issues before and you just pay for it and it's been you know, delivered to you and before you know it you will see some issues it's either not working or you know there is you know a problem here and there and you've lost your money so you know going to a fiscal store is the very first important thing you need to note you know when you are planning on getting a used macbook now why going to the physical store to get your MacBook. You know, there are things you need to take along with you while going there. Yeah, because these things are also important when it comes to checking out, you know, if that MacBook is, you know, worth it or if it's working out very well for you. One is to go with an SD card, you know, you need to go along with your hard drive, your Wi-Fi, go with your earpiece and also if you have, let's say, a Bluetooth headphone, a Bluetooth AirPod, go along with it and lastly you can go with a charger but maybe you may not have the charger of that particular macbook so you can test that one over there okay now we've got into the store you've seen maybe you are going for this macbook pro 2015 over here that's what you want to go for or maybe you're going for the macbook pro 2020 the m1 chip anyone at all you're going for so what should you do once you're there first thing to check is you know the body Check the body of the you know MacBook if there's any dents over there, if there's any physical damage you can see, any scratches or anything. Check carefully around everything, okay? Just check the back, check the front, right? You should also open it to check if the hinges on the MacBook is working properly. You should also check the screen for any anti-reflective coating on the screen. Yes, just check it out. So now once you've done all this physical test, the next thing is to now test the MacBook itself. So you need to go to the Wi-Fi and connect it to be sure that it works properly. You now this is where you need that Wi-Fi I talked about earlier in the video. So turn it on, connect it, and let's say just go to you know Safari to browse a YouTube and see if it is connected properly, right? Now you should also click on the Apple logo and select about this Mac. Now check the specs, you know, the RAM and the name of the MacBook to be sure it is what you know you were told. To avoid what I ordered, that's what I got. Okay. Now, once you're done with that, just go to the launch pad, then open the video to check if the photo and the video FaceTime is working properly. You can also make a video using the FaceTime to test the mic. Also, yes. So once you're done in the making the video, we can also play that video you just made to listen to the speaker to be sure that the speaker is also working properly. Now, test the Bluetooth. You need to connect that your you know wireless you know headphone or AirPod you went along with you connect it and you know go back to let's say safari go to youtube search on any video at all be sure it's playing properly and it's well connected so now you need to check the battery capacity by going to you know your safari okay just go to coconut battery then open this first one coconut battery 3.9 so once you're here you download it okay so you just download it and once it's done downloading you go to your finder then you're going to see it somewhere around here see it here coconut battery then you open it now so as you can see here on this my MacBook Pro 2015 it's telling me everything about you know the battery you know the current charge you know the full charge capacity you know the design capacity manufacturer data and every single thing so guys as you can see this is a 6559 you know mh battery and the capacity is 91.4%, which is actually a very good one for, you know, a used MacBook. And it says the macOS battery status is good, right? It is good and 
and this is just everything you need to know about you know this battery and it shows it's okay so once that is done then you can also try to plug it with the charger to be sure that the macbook is charging now another thing you need to check is the keyboard yes okay so while still on your safari you need to just go to you know keyboard tester all right just go to any keyboard tester i click on this very first one okay let me launch the tests okay as you can see here so just tap on every of the keys can you see i'm typing on this one i tap on one now it's typing can you see it they are all typing as i'm typing on every one of them can you see it this is sure that every key here is working and i make sure i check out every one of them so that i know that every key here is working and now we cannot test out all the skis over here from the escape the f1 the f2 f3 f4 on this tester so what do you want to do okay so once you come back let me just cancel this as to this then i can click on this f2 which is to increase the brightness can you see it is working i click on f1 to reduce the brightness can you see it is working right i click on this you know f3 to show the windows but i don't have any windows available i click on f4 it takes them to the launch pad I click on F5, it reduces in keyboard brightness, right? I click on F6, it increases it. So, can you see? I check out all three of these keys and they are all working perfectly fine. Now, another thing you should check for is to check for dead pixel on this MacBook screen. So, you still just need to go back and go to your Safari. Let's just go to YouTube. Okay, so I'll just click on this very first one. So now while this is loading, guys, you may be thinking that all this test we are doing is much. That is, all these things we are checking is more just for you to go and get, you know, a man book. However, you should note that, you know, let's say for example, this 2050 man pro, I got it around 300,000 naira. And the Mago Pro M motivity behind me, I got it in you know, around 1 million. So imagine spending that huge amount of money to get a man book and at the end of the day, you found out it has issues. So you need to take a time to check all these things and you know, regardless of this video, all this will not take up to 20 minutes and we are done testing all this and we are satisfied that okay, yes, this is the MacBook that I want. Okay, so it's important to take your time to check all these things, okay? So now that this is you know showing, I'm gonna put it on full screen. Now that this is on full screen, okay, we need to take note of all these places. If there is let's say any, you know, black screen or any white screen, like as it's showing red, if you can see any white or black screen. You know, like this, there's a dead pixel around here. Okay, so you just watch this video, and it's not so even long over here, it's just around one minute. And you see that every pixel here is working well. So now, once you're done with this, you know, dead pixel test, and you confirm that, okay, yes, this is working perfectly well, you need to check all the ports by the side. You know, I told you guys to bring an SD card, I told you guys to bring a hard drive and an earpiece. So all you need to do is to now test out all the ports. So now once it's all working, it's time for you to check out, you know, the Apple ID. Okay, check if, you know, it is signed in on someone else's account or it is free, right? So what do you need to do? Go to System Preference, right? So as you can see now, this, you know, Marvel is really signed in to, you know, someone's Apple ID, but you should not be signed in because you are going to be logging in. And here it says your yeah, family sharing can you see ensure it is not logged into information so now if you are going for let's say mac pro of 316 and above you should check if the fingerprint id is working yes ensure that it's working because from 316 and above they have you know fingerprint unlock okay now another thing to check very important is the serial number of this macbook yes you need to check out the serial number of this macbook so you go to this you know so you need to click on this Go to about this mark yes and now copy the serial number okay just copy the serial number then go to your browser again in my book serial number checker okay so once i'm here i paste in my serial number so guys as you can see this brought out everything about this mark proof for me here know everything about this macbook pro okay so and, and you know you should not really mind the color most times the color does not match but check everything if it's also matches okay so guys once you're done checking all those things you know you can now pay for the macbook and take it home with you
But even though we are going to a physical store to get this MacBook Pro, you know, our device you go for in a trusted vendor. Yes, you know, most people these days are using MacBooks, right? And let's say I know people around me who use MacBooks. So even if I'm not getting the MacBook before for the first time, I'm going to ask you know, my friends who use a MacBook, where did they get their MacBook from? So I can go to that trusted vendor. Because, you know, as a Nigerian, if you're going to computer it means you get, you know, anything. At the end of the day, even if you've checked all these things I said and you don't shine your eyes or more, <laughs> mm -hmm. eh, then we'll talk to you. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying is true, yeah. So also be very vigilant about that. Okay. And that thing is, you know, ensure that they give you a warranty. Yes, even if it's a two weeks warranty, because that's what I got when I got this by my Google 50 and also I got that my M1 over there. They gave me on the invoice, they said that within two weeks. You know, if there's any damage I noticed, they're going to automatically change it for me. Yes, so that is another thing you should look out for. So that in case there are some things you did not notice that point, you know, we are checking in that at that store and you go over and you're like, oh, well, I saw this thing right now. You can still go swap it and it will give you another one of that same, you know, MacBook you went for. Right? So, guys, with this, the rest are sure that you are going to have a peace of mind when you're using that MacBook in your ears. And I have been using both of my MacBooks for a very long time and I have not had any issue at all. So, and this is because I had to check all these things before I went to go and get this MacBook. Okay. Now, my next video, I'm going to talk about, you know, what you should check when you're getting a used iPhone. Yes, because there's a slight difference between MacBook and used iPhone, right? So, I'm sure you check out my channel for that video and also talk about, you know, MacBooks. I talk about the one you should go for and why. Because, you know, there's a reason why I have the Smart 2015 Pro and there's a reason why I also have that M1. If you check out my channel, you can see that I have created lots of videos surrounding different MacBooks, even different iPhone. So don't forget or don't hesitate. So click on that subscribe button and also turn on the bell on the screen icon. So whenever I create some of these like this, you need first to get notified, okay? So guys, let me know in the comment section if there's any point I missed out or which man book you're going to be going for and why. Okay, see you guys as we discover the smart online tips.